This video is brought to you by the Crazy Aquarium Guy. Welcome, my dear fish lovers, to Sax Tanks Crazy Aquarium Guy. Today we're gonna do a Sax Swim Tales number 13. It's always it's almost been 11 months since we did it the last time. But this is gonna be more old school Sax Swim Tales. That's why I have the old school hat, the old merch. We're gonna do it four to six days going around filming stuff I'm doing in the fish room, tips and tricks, cleaning stuff, and you follow me along. So grab your beer, grab something nice to smoke or eat, snacks, whatever you like, and watch the whole thing because YouTube hates long videos. That's why everybody does eight to 12 minute videos now. But I don't like that. I like long videos. I want to sit down and watch not a movie, but a short movie, at least a horror movie or a documentary movie, like an hour. And if you want that to stay, because I don't know, I'm, I, th I think I'm the only one who's still doing that. And I love that myself, so I'm not going to stop. By, but help me by keep watching. And if you don't want to keep watching, put on mute and open another tab and watch something else. But then you're gonna keep me, uh, then you're gonna help me with my watch time still. So, and that's for free. That's not gonna cost you anything, but it's gonna help me a lot. So all I'm asking for is thumbs up and watch time. And it's all for free. And a nice comment would also be appreciated. Let's go. So this guys is gonna be one of those long videos again. This is the pothos. I changed the light. I took the, t the fluid 2.0 and put over there. And one similar to those I showed you before. Shihirio is really strong. 40 watt each. And it's another one in the back. It's better lighting. And I put over the Valisnira uh, Giant from the other tub from the 70 gallon because I had so much and then when I steal because I need to sell this aquarium unfortunately um, I don't know how, how I'm gonna do with this save it sell it separately or trying to take it with me somehow but the big tank is staying and the big cube is staying for sure and probably the next tank as well but look this is how I'm creating it's crazy in here I thought I newly did the water change and took up the plants and shoveled out crushed coral but I had put in so much this you can't even see anything now it's so much air bubbles but it's super clean because I need the water change down here three times for all the debris and to collect shells because I want to put a black substrate in here but the original plan was to take out all substrate and all plants but these cryptocurine plants they were thick was a lot more in here than I thought a lot difficult to see because it's so much debris and air in the water this is where what I have left you can't even see through it because 15 big clown loaches like that one is hiding here that's how thick it is and we still have this part so the only thing I took was here here all the way and now I'm gonna show you how much that is A full 10 gallon bucket, this is just to keep them wet, of beautiful cryptocurine plants. So the plan was to fill this aquarium with all the crypts. But I'm waiting for sand, not coming for tomorrow, so I need to stay now. That's, uh, I need to stay. Look, the substrate, it's very thin. This is one of my favorites, 
Bekiti pet key it stays low and really green even though it's a cryptocurrency plant so I love it and I have a bunch of those in here all the front was that plant so all of those here stay low and <laughs> all of those here is gonna make this tank look like a jungle but I need more substrate I need substrate like this thick or more you see how I did it just to plant a few I need this thick in here in the front and twice as much in here to get in all of these plants really look at them. all of them that is a crypt 20 brown or bronze and crypt uh, undulata Andulada. I don't know how to pronounce Latin names so different but here's my beautiful platys I've been reading in here I got rid of the Colombian tetras almost right away they were so boring just swimming around eating food choking on vibra bites worst food I ever bought by the way no fish likes them and they are hard enough to get stuck in the throat of both the rainbows and the Col Colombian tetras but I bought eight and we have like 40 so it's been good it's only I bought them in August I think but it was completely covered so you couldn't look in with uh, Valesineria Gig uh, Gigantia so I took as some in here yeah to save it because I'm gonna move but I'm gonna keep some aquariums and I'm in this plant is very rare to find in Sweden the biggest kind of uh, Valesineria. The video is not over. I'm gonna go through the fish if you don't want to know that. But the scape is different, and this look, it works very well. Now they hang hanging back a little bit because they were supported by the big uh, T5 ramp, but now it's only a fluid 2.0. But I want less light in the tank because. This is growing so big now, eating so much, so much ammonia, nitrates and nitrite that only Val and Anubias can grow in here because there is not enough nutrients in the water. I don't have 60 Corridoras, 35 rainbows, blah 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 anymore, so I can't put in that amount of food. When I'm not home either, I don't want to risk putting that it's so much easier to feed with your hand. It's really difficult going away eight days a week, choose the right food, double feeders for bigger fish, bigger pellets. To get that right, it's very difficult, it's dangerous. can easily go way too much or way too low. And which auto feed, and, and then you, you need to change all your food but because flat pellets don't go go through these and almost no auto feeders because the screwing makes the, the it's a, it's like an effect like this like a spiral and the flat ones they get stuck so it needs to be round pellets and fl sinking pellets is good because we have corridoras and plecos yeah so you need that so then you don't have much to choose from and then you need really small pellets, which I luckily have from my local uh, great place that breed a lot of... Oh, I can throw some out, you can see I've shown this before, how small they are. It's, it, it's like equivalent to aquarium co-op's dry food. Super good for black neon tetras and zebra and... What are they called? Zebra fish? Zebra fish? What do you call that? Zebra Daniels. I don't know. Sorry. Long, cam long time ago. This video is gonna be uh, swim tails. Because I was going to take everything out. But when I realized that this is already too much for that aquarium. And then keep in mind that I already put in a lot. And have those two buckets left 
to still put in in that space because this is I'm gonna sell this so why plant anything right no use and these driftwood is the beautiful driftwood from the turtle tank sadly I sold the turtle tank I can tell you more about it later in the in the video but they got a better home they got what what is it in gallons you and your gallons 500 gallon professional made taking care of of a professional tropic house so a better home than mine home that was the only way I would get rid of them so I'm gonna save this and wait for the black gravel because I'm still smart enough that I learned that the smallest gravel go to the bottom so I bought bigger pellets so that's why the shells are up top and don't sink down under the crushed coral it's still way too much really but I'm taking up I have been taking out so much, uh, all my trees in the balcony are filled, I can't put more crushed coral in the snails, I only have 5 aquariums now, I, I can't move things around, I don't know what to do with shell mixed crushed coral. Shells are also good to buffer the water, but it doesn't look very good so you can't sell it. So I'm gonna keep these plants. But I'm going to build a beautiful Mopani driftwood thing here. And this is going to look so much better. I just filled up the water after ripping plants apart completely. So you couldn't see the back wall. And this video is going to be long. It's going to be old school. We're not even finished because I haven't shown you the rest of the uh, Valesneria I took out. It's in the kitchen. That is also a 10 gallon bucket filled. And here comes another one. This amount I already sold today for $60 to a customer. For a client who bought something else from me. He bought something else and was very happy with the purchase. Saw these and asked, can I buy these next time? And I say, only if you buy half. Because I need to get rid of them, but I don't want to sell them or feed them to the snails and I have some small beautiful fancy goldfish with the snails now but I upgraded to the big hang on back filter I'm trying to get rid of all the gunk in this aquarium this is not gonna show well oh, I had it on the basil look you can see the crushed coral again before it was this thick of layers black so I've been I have a garbage bin here and put in fine filter floss and this is very effective this is like 200 300 gallons an hour but still not very strong because it's two so it's manageable for the goldfish and the gallon the tank is 50 gallons something 50 plus so I've been changing these out two times a day actually so I, I don't even trust it through the night but you can see the crushed coral again starting to because the bottom of the giant ramsmore snails was this thick of a black mud because they eat everything as you see all trimmings all food dead fish whatever and break it down to mold so that's why we have this here whole package working Throwing over, working. I think I've done it 10 times now and you can see the gravel. And just because shells are still good to buffer the water, I put, up, I, I put in some snail shells. Snail, now. Some shells from the puffer tank in here. Because that's good, hard water. And goldfish also likes hard water. So it's good for everybody to develop the shell of the... Because if I'm building my dream tank, it's a mabu puffer in my new apartment again. So why get rid of a breeding tank with giant ramsorn snails? 
I mean, if you get a wild caught like this, he's already gonna be able to eat babies. It's perfect. I really don't get why Cory only feeds his, his puffer one type of food. His beaks are pretty long. He said himself, you can, if you can see the beaks, they are too long. And you can see Murphy's beaks like you can see it on Goofy. So, I'm gonna do a better job. I'm gonna beat his Maboof up. If I can build my dream tank. But this is how I gone so far. Today I have to wait. Which I hate. Because the gravel arrives tomorrow morning. And now it's 10 o'clock at night. So I will pause the video here and continue with the swim tails. Uh, I can show you the Demasonic tank. Then you have seen all my aquariums I have right now. The Masoni. Put in some green beans. Saved a couple of snails in here just because this is more how it looks. Of course, I ended up putting in all the rocks, like I told you. I say I'm, I'm happy with this, but in the end, a little bit more, a little bit more, a little bit more. So now we have a lot. This tank is almost three, three feet tall. So, And we have a bunch of babies. Can you see the baby? Can you zoom on this thing? Oh, not with good quality, but that's baby. Ah, it's lots of Demas Demasoni babies in here. And some yellow bristles, blackos. Because, same thing there. Keep them in two aquariums. Because I have such a good breeding line. People tell me they breed. This tank is all never good on picture. Because this should be horizontal. Now you see my laundry. This should be like this. But that, everybody hates that. That's for Instagram. But it's really good. Low maintenance, huge sump. Love the tank. Oh. Oh, the Brisenlows had, had have laid eggs because that is Brisenlows eggs. I recognize the difference between Brisenlows eggs and giant ram's horse nice eggs. Thank you. That's good. So they are happy here as well. So I tried to, I have an auto feeder for an Eheim for uh, the, the mass one I, but every time I'm home, I'm dropping in green beans, a bunch of stuff not, it's, that is not going to foul the water quality, but it's going to last a long time for the snails and the original fleckles. And of course, when I'm home, I'm also filling them with protein like clams on, on the canned clams and shrimp and all kinds of stuff so they're happy in here there are just three in there one male two females but in here it's the real new start to breed oh apparently we need a clown loach in here but we're not going to do that but malaysian trumpet snails for sale for anyone and it's about 500 shrimps all colors you can think of neo caridina and yellow nose, br uh, bristle nose, plecos with uh, yellow bristle nose, plecos with blue eyes. The most expensive kind. Unless you can ca count the same kind but with long fin. It's a little bit more expensive. But I don't like that because then they pick at each other's fins when they, they, they are pretty rough when they make eggs. So that's how we gone so far. And so sorry that I couldn't show you before I to to took everything out of this tank and did a rescape. And bef before how it looked when it was completely green, but you have seen it before in my Nia um, in my cube aquarium with Valesneria when I had the green neon tetras. It looked like that. So I can already see they have eaten the smallest, latest babies because it's more space now. But it's not going to be more space when all crypts go in. So tomorrow I need more uh, light substrate here. Or maybe I mix it up. We'll see. But especially here because I want a darker look. With crypt bronze and crypt andulara. 
Undulata. I don't know how you pronounce it. it. It's a purple color. You can almost see it. It's difficult. It's, it's active. It's blue lighting now. It's almost marine lighting here. So, but it's, it's it, it it has a beautiful purple color. So, and 15 clown loaches that I changed. I didn't buy them because I'm broke. Like I told you, if you watch my two live streams, watch my two live streams, please. Then you get everything I'm talking about in this video. So watch those two first and then watch this video. Then you will get the whole story if you're interested. But that's a pretty good night. Then you can buy a couple of beers or smoke some good stuff. And you have about, I would guess this video is going to be 50 minutes and my live streams was total four, four hours. So you have a good night. But 15 beautiful clam loaches that I changed against plants, streamers, stuff I get over, you know. This table was complete with aquarium equipment because I'm not stupid enough to sell an aquarium. Oh, shoot, buy my aquarium, you get all the fish, all the, all the pleco caves, all the rocks, all the wood. Why? You're not, you never get more for that. I, I show how it looks, and they come here and look, and so they can see it's not leaking, it's running. Then I say, come back in three hours, and I empty the aquarium, and then they take it out. That way I can sell the stones, and now I'm, oh, do that if you want to earn more money. That's what I'm doing. And sell plants. People are... The Swedish version of eBay is called Tradera. People are sell, selling uh, Java moss and you get like this pinch for like $8. And I don't like that. I, I sold a, a guy like this bucket full for $20. And Valesneria, hard to get to. And if you buy that on the Swedish version of eBay, you get, I see if I can give you an example, you get something like this, this small one here, for $10. When the guy came to me today, he paid uh, 50 or $60, but he got three times the amount that, that is in here. That's how you do it, don't cheap out. If you already had them, they're gonna grow more. And he was a good guy. Beautiful tank, good knowledge. He's gonna take care of them. Asked me for some advice. So why not? This is beautiful. I'm gonna show you this in the morning when the tanks are really dark, but these are still on, so you only can see the potos. Because I need to go up early in the morning anyway, because I'm gonna get... Oh, how many pounds? I hate your pounds, it's so difficult. <laughs> oh, 200 pounds of gravel is coming early in the morning. So I'm gonna continue the video then. Hope you like this style. And let me see some better watch time than 7 minutes and 5 minutes and then you quit. Otherwise, I'm gonna stop making long videos. Then you only have these 9 minutes, 6 minutes, 7 minutes clickbaits that, that is going on right now. I don't like it that myself. I loved Aquarium Co-op's old long videos. I love those. I love all fish room videos, fish room tour, aquarium update uh, from Peck Deck. People making them shorter and shorter because YouTube wants that. But what do you want to see? I want to sit down and relax, have a beer, have a glass of champagne, eat a nice carbonara, whatever, and watch something that entertains me for at least 20, 30 minutes. Yeah, enough ranting. We continue tomorrow. It's like a mess in here. And I should have picked out the clown loaches to take everything out, but I couldn't do that because they are so easily stressed and they look super healthy and I, it wasn't that long ago I changed 11 of my 15 so they arrived three days ago so I don't want to stress them out like that again and with black gravel 
the lighting is not going to be this strong. And with the T5, I can turn it down. Uh, I can turn down two, and I can turn down two, and or all, and only have one ramp. So it's going to be a little bit less lighting in here, especially when you get it. It doesn't look like much, but it's a big piece. It's the big piece that was in the turtle tank. And I have a lot more under that towel. And if it's not enough, I'm going to trade something more. A streamer, an Eheim streamer, a mag plot with scraper or something that I don't need. I have extra from having 22 aquariums to get me more Mopani driftwood. See you soon guys in the next bit. This is gonna look amazing. That's a Crispatula, but it was blocked by, by the Undelada, so it's actually a fourth kind. And that is getting really tall, but it struggled because the tank was so deep. So, it's four different kinds of Cryptocurine. And that is just Bacopa I'm trying to save, because if it fills out real good, I have two Fluel 2.0s in here. 90 watts of quality light that's some of them are dimmed down otherwise this flimmer wouldn't happen but it's gonna look amazing trust me imagine this jungle but not to the top so like to here and go straight down so plants completely but place the right sort the bronze behind the Becky pet key Ex Willisi and then the Crispatula and the Undulada in the back. That is actually a bronze, I think. But I don't know. Crypt can change color between if you, how much light you can give them. And this tank is only two feet, the other one is three feet. But we'll see. But this is gonna look amazing. But now it's already 25 minutes. My videos are always long. If you don't like it, Sorry, I can't keep it too short. Because then I feel I should have said that. I wanted to say that. Till the next bit, guys. Stay tuned. The morning after. Or the night of tomorrow. 24 hours later when I'm done. Now, you want to see the process a little bit? Yeah. We do a bunch of clips. Hello fish lovers, let's continue the video we started yesterday. Now it's been, uh, was 10 o'clock yesterday and now it's 9 o'clock again. So a couple of hours of sleep. Yesterday was a little bit loopy because I had one hour of sleep and the three days before four hours of sleep. But today I actually got five and a half hours and five and a half hours I can work with with the insomnia problem, you get used to it. I know it sounds like five and a half hours, I will be super tired. I will be a little bit more sharp. And I use this Marshall because apparently people had told me that this mic is really good. Stop watching yourself, watch the camera. Hello, fish lovers, welcome to Sax Tags. We're gonna continue the next morning. Stay tuned. I'm gonna show you and tell you everything I forgot about yesterday. Starting with this. I promised I would show you the Pothos. How it looks now with my up hanging 80 watts of LED when the tanks are off. You still get a little bit ugly light from the sun that destroys the really deep green color. See if we can get it better. No, it's not going to get better. Bright or dark. And still I have been rough to this plant because I've been trying tubes and tying them to these to get them up to take off the ramp and change it to the Fluol 2.0. And the same thing over here. So you see it's a little bit thinner if you really look into it. But I also have a 20 watt LED to fill in this ugly spot here. 
so you don't see this is just because it's gonna burn on those these these are really strong and really good but they get heated like crazy hot almost like a fire hazard good thank godness I have an alarm system that they will come in five minutes if something like that happens so that's why I have sponges on all my LEDs to save these branches from getting burned look who wouldn't want that honestly do you know what you can do with this if you want if you had a 145 gallon set up like this you can do no filter only air stones never water change and still have 100 neon tetras that's how good this filter is because I told you before leaves out of the water but roots in the water is 10 times the amount this wouldn't fit in an 800 gallon oh it would fit but it would be full so then you can understand how much this takes away nitrate ammonia and uh, nitrite nitrate nitrite nitrates nitrite ammonia so never would a change aquarium i can turn it into that but sadly i need to sell this because i need more money watch my live streams and you will understand the video better like i told you but let's continue with the what we're gonna do today i had to take out more it's still this much left i took out all this piece of the left as well because i wanted the black gravel that i bought here and this is still gonna keep growing so i don't want to tank field again i want less plants and besides i put a little teaser video out sadly i filmed this way because i thought Horizontal has always been YouTube. I didn't know the click, what do you say, the quick uh, look videos should be like Instagram. So they are on the side. Sorry about that. But watch those, and there are teaser videos and uh, a competition. You get one of these stickers. I only made 25 when I just started the channel. I think I have about 15 left. They are never going to be made again. And you never know. Maybe I'm going to be the new king of DIY someday. <laughs> no, I'm not going to be that. But you know what I mean. Super limited edition. And wherever you live, I will send it to you. Even if it cost me $30. If you can guess what I'm going to keep with my 12 clown loaches. But you have to leave that comment under that video. Because I need... YouTube to see people watching my bad horizontal filming that they still get views and comments <laughs> so help me with that so now I'm gonna show you the gravel okay ready this is fine you remember what I told you yesterday the fine stuff is gonna go to the bottom no way it's just physics so I can leave this in to buffer the water still and it's good because it's gonna, um, if the pH want to go down, the GH make like a pillar so it stays stable. And I have neutral water, 7.0 in pH. And G GH is like a support pillar for the pH with crushed coral. So crushed coral, guys, if you have neutral, it's very good for all fish. Almost all fish like crushed coral. Even trophies, you can have crushed coral, not use, I would say, baking soda, baking powder, baking soda. You don't need baking soda because that's a big difference. It, if you change water every other week and put in baking soda, it's going to go up too fast, the pH. You're not going to like that. My brother did it like this. He only had crushed coral, no baking soda, and they were fine. And they were F1s, meaning coming 
first edition from wild caught ones and they were Icola, one of the more difficult kinds of trophies. And he did amazing with them. And he did 80% water change uh, every 10 days. So don't listen to the baking soda stuff. Baking soda, baking powder. In Sweden it's totally different names, but so you know what I mean. That can buffer the water, the pH, but don't use that. It's only temporarily anyway. Crushed coral or shells if you have puffers. Just keep them in. That I said snail shells, 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 clams was what I meant yesterday. Now we're gonna take a look at the gravel. You see, it's gonna get super black when it's wet. These big ones are gonna stay up top because like I said, it's physics. The biggest ones is gonna stay up top and these are gonna turn this black underwater. And these are round ones, a little bit smaller size and round just to make it more look more natural. I wanted round ones and not just sharp ones. And also these sharp ones I'm gonna put around the Mopani driftwood and these are gonna cover the main aquarium because I have clown loaches and they don't like sharp gravel because they search the bottom. And don't forget the competition. Go in and guess what other 25 fish I already have in quarantine at the store with medicine. 25 fish, I already bought them, but I bought them not for money. I bought them for aquarium stuff I already had. So I am broke, I'm not lying to you. I just wanna make that clear. I'm an honest person. This is just tickling sad. We need more. These are super cheap, but, but when you buy this amount, you had to pay $50 shipping. So that was rough because it's 200 pounds. But we need cichlid sand. We can feel a little bit extra in. in uh, we need a lot more to fit in the cryptocurine in the platy tank. And this, I ordered the wrong color. This is some beige light uh, mistake. I wanted even bigger size of these ones. So this was a mistake order. But what can you do? Change it? Yeah, but it's your shipping back. You're gonna have to pay for the shipping back. 25 pounds. I don't think so. I will keep it. Maybe in the future. Maybe in the next tank. Who knows? Save the gravel. So this I'm gonna leave. And I think it's ugly that I used Orca glue. I'm going to turn it down so you can see better. I think it's ugly that I used Orca glue to put the second Fluel FX6 against the background. So I'm going to cover that with the big Mopane Driftwood piece, I think. But still, the first thing I wanted is because you walk in from here. So the trees should be slightly, in, not in the middle, slightly over there. But I can't do that now because I can't rip these out. But if you want a hint for the 25 new fish that I ordered, why it's so important to take it away and t take away the cryptocurine and not just leave them in. It's because they eat plants. So maybe this is all sacrificed. Do you realize how much this would cost in a store? This is a 175 gallon aquarium. They, there are no algae and undulata is extra expensive. One, two grow package, $10. At least in Sweden, $10, $11. Do you realize how, how much this is? So leave it for food and then it will gunk up all the filters, blah, blah, blah. But I have to do that because I even had to build some extra high stool to get to get them out, actually. I don't know. I don't remember how I planted them because now I couldn't take them out because... Yeah, because it's easier to plant them. You can just put them in. So you just have to reach down. But now they were stuck to the glass bottom and all together. So if you try to take one out, they started to rise there, there, there like a carpet. So, leave it at this.
and this Undulata, it's got to be cool because if I build the Mupani here and cover first with first Mupani, then fill in with black gravel around it over the top, and then have a little island of Undulata here, it's going to give them some cover. Then, then, then maybe the clown loaches are going to act like this one and hide a little bit more in the front. I'll say Miss Algae Eaters, four of them, always necessary when you keep so much highlight. I mean, I have 300 watts of LED on this. So, that's how you grow big plants on an aquarium that is 3 feet and 2 inches tall. It's not impossible, on it. it's impossible otherwise. And I love this, the monster. I don't keep the top off because it doesn't do anything. And I extra sealing myself with uh, plumber tape. It's called that in Sweden, so I just, you know what I mean. And some underwood tape. But this is a fine sponge that's not even round. I so regret that I didn't show you the video how you would set this up the best way. Because I've learned and waited for this filter since I started the hobby. This is my dream filter. It's that old, but it's still the best. 65. Never runs out. The guys in the store, in both of my favorite aquarium stores, have these. One of them says, oh, this filter, I cleaned it three years ago. This filter, I cleaned it four years ago. And... The other guy said, I have five for all of my aquariums and I haven't cleaned them in 20 years. Then you understand how reliable they are if you do it the right way because the water comes down from underneath. So I have a fine filter sponge and not cut out round because then it's gonna, if that's going to clog up, it's going to go through the sides. So I put it in uh, a square or like a diamond so it goes up against you understand what i mean too big so you need to push it down so it's like this in here fine filter sponge filter sponge and then i put in 25 pounds of ceramic that's it so it's gonna go and the ceramic is never gonna get dirty because it's so fine and then you can turn on the, the faucet and out from the back balcony and drain it so you don't have to open it. It's not as good as back flashing a filter, but it's still, it's still gonna clean that pad because the pad is in the bottom. It would be better if the water ran through here, but that's not gonna be for long because the outtake is up there and the intake is there. So it's gonna come in here, but it's still gonna flush out the gunk in the bottom. And in the bottom, it's the fine filter mat. And the ceramic is not going to gunk up because I have a fine filter mat. So, do it like this. I regret that I didn't show you this. And the two FXX filters. Okay. Uh, this is not on yet. But we're going to fill this tank as well. Uh, but I don't think I can show you when I put in sand. Is that fun? Or should I put up a camera and, I don't know. Now I show you in short steps. Otherwise the video is going to be two hours and you don't watch my two hour videos anymore. You usually did. You don't do anymore. What? Nothing to say here. Yeah, what I meant to say. Yesterday's video I heard myself saying, I don't want to sell this, but I sold to a guy. I mean, I don't want to go to a store because the guy that can fix me everything that I usually talk about, he is still the cheap bastard that will give me one dollar for a big Velocineer uh, <laughs> giant piece. So I would get like twenty dollars for the whole bucket when I can help a fellow fish lover for fifty dollars for 10 times the amount. You understand what I mean? He gives me nothing. He's like, yeah, a dollar. And this a dollar. This looks damaged. 
He does that. He's all about business, all about money. He doesn't even care about fish anymore. He's working too long. Oh, this tank turned on. You haven't seen this now. It's torpedo barbs. Uh, rose line charts. Oh, both names are right. Two Turacotas. Two beautiful figure eight puffers that are hiding next down there on the Anubias. We can do a separate video on this. This is just scaped, moved the zebra stones underneath the root system because no plants can grow there anyway because it's covering the light. And then I took all my spider wood and put it together to look like one big one. See if we can get a little bit closer like this. So it's completely changed. And maybe we fill up some more sand in here as well. It's pretty thin in the front, but why? Like I said, because we're going to empty it soon. Sadly, I love this aquarium. Because this is my dream tank with my initial plan. If I'm going to, if I was going to stay here in this city was to build uh, more glass with sliding doors here and uh, nets to cover these heat lights and have a snake or something that eats fish and then put guppies or platys in here so he hunts fish by hanging from the trees and it doesn't get very big it gets like mm, two and a half feet long and it's beautiful and he's specialized in eating fish so he hangs down, waits at the surface, and then grabs one. And then you have like a biotope, a snake up top. These are going to grow taller, and you can run more vines. So they, they, these can go up to the, to, um, all the way up to the ceiling. Um, you understand what I mean? Or and you keep lizards, a chameleon, or, or something else, geckos. And it would be like a wall, a look into an aquarium room in your house. That was what I wanted from the beginning. That's why it's going to be so rough. So I live in Sweden. If you are local and want my amazing potos plant with those amazing lights and those good hanging kits, because this looks really good. And this took five years to get to this because first they rot or thrive or go really slow because you put they're not supposed to grow in water but they can adapt so first really cheap 10 watt led from ebay then two of those then one strong one but turn down dimmer down you can dimmer those and now they are full power so if you want to want this we can Take all of this, put it in a bucket like this, and I will sell you this if you live in Sweden and are local and want to have this above your aquarium. I told you, you can skip filters completely. You need air stones to keep circulation going, but air stones, a big school of one beautiful Raminos Tetras 250, and this will take care of that and you don't need to do water change. You can only top off the water. This is how, effect, how effective this method is. Sorry for all the laundry, but I'm a single guy and I'm now focused on surviving each month. I need to get $2,500 each month and I have zero. So that's why I have five aquariums. That was the quick one if you don't want to watch the live streams. But this is dark now. So I think I will start with... No, I'll start with this. This is more fun. I will start with... Mm, we do it in bits. Like I told you, it's going to be too long. And what I w forgot to say yesterday is... I put bristles in that tank and in this tank 
just because I want to keep my pure line. It's not you can ju you can't go in and just buy bristle nose plecos with blue eyes. You need to breed them down like guppies. Otherwise, you will get 50% brown plecos still, even though both parents are yellow with blue eyes. I get 95, 96% bristle nose plecos with blue eyes and yellow of those. So the originals are gonna stay for sure because it's such a good breeding line. That's why I spread them out into aquariums. I forgot to say that yesterday. So I covered everything I missed yesterday and now we're gonna go in with a lot of driftwood. I know I said I shouldn't put in more of these plants because I'm getting fish but could you resist? Look at this. I have size 13 in America. Look at my foot. Look how beautiful. But I couldn't put them in. So this is a trick. If you don't own these, ceramic or these. Well, he's cable straps, what do you call them? Whatever, you know what I mean. I don't know you. No, but you really should. I use them every day for something, cables. Now, I use them to weigh down this plant. Because all I really want to do is to plant it, but I took out so much white gravel, so it's not deep enough. And if I plant it with black gravel, it's going to stir up the white gravel so it mixes. And shows up on the front and yes you can put a big piece of driftwood to weigh it down but I want to do that I want to do what I want with them not just it's so obvious when you have it on the plant that you did that so I want to put them in like this and just weigh them down so cable ties that's what the name is the cable ties and a lot of ceramic and now we're gonna stay in place and I can just cover them with black gravel and these are not gonna harm the aquarium at all this is why you should watch my long videos because I have some small tricks it took, it took the humanity thousand, thousands of years to invent the wheel and that is a round thing that rolls. What I mean by that is the most simple ideas are often most hard to think about. So now they're gonna stay on the bottom and grow. If you have a bare bottom tank, you can do this as well. Okay, now we're gonna put them in. Just a quick in between, because I told you I would get 20 bucks from him for this and $50 from a stranger. And that just sounds like, yeah, you get more money from a stranger. Of course, you sell it to a stranger, fellow fish lover. I mean, he does exactly the same thing as the Swedish version of Tradera. He tells me that this amount... It, worth, it is worth one dollar for him. And then when, I'm, when I left, he turns this into five plants and sells them for ten bucks a piece. So I get twenty dollars and he gets hundred and fifty dollars. So it's lit he's literally doing stuff like that in front of my eyes because I come in a few days later and see it. So it bothers me that he tries to, that he thinks I'm stupid enough to not see what the fuck he's doing. <laughs> Sorry for the bad language, but you understand what I mean? That's why I don't want to get 20 bucks from him. I'd rather give it away for free to that nice guy that cares about animals in the small store that I usually talk about. I have two stores, if you're new to the channel. One talks 50 minutes how to take care of a hamster and he makes two dollars on the sale 
because they already have the cage, blah, 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 and it died. They just want the new one. And we have that guy that gets 250 Raminos Tetras, throw them in. One hour later, I'm still there because I go and lurk around like I do sometimes. And this was just not to melt the plastic when I had the light on the Valisonier. Um Yeah, he makes two dollars and explain for 45 minutes. While the other guy that only cares about money and thinks he can fool me, I'm smarter than him, so <laughs> I fool him instead. Always fool him. When he makes custom aquariums for me, I fool him because he has a calculator of the prices he takes for the thickness of the glass. So I just throw numbers at, it, at him. And that's geom geometry. So if I make this tall, this steep, this length, what is the price? And I keep doing that five times until he, I accidentally took a length uh, front to back and a height that was really cheap. My turtle tank with the stand cost me $700. That's really good for a custom made aquarium that you can choose your own measurements with the glass being 13 millimeters thick. So I sheet him back, but he doesn't know about it because I don't brag about it. Then I don't, I can't keep doing it. So I do the same thing to him now, but he doesn't know it. This is all the cryptocurine that is not worth sorting out. So it's going into the snails, but they're going to love it because the roots are extra tasty. They are the fine things. They are like white asparagus against green asparagus in the chef world. So, you see the goldfish are really happy in here. They weren't happy with the big ones because this was apparently a female and a fantail. And the big normal discus, the uh, goldfish, I donated to that aquarium store that still goes bad because they uh, have a rough time and I don't want them to close. They have been open for 60 years. I don't want only chain stores and the cheap bastard. I still want those. If I buy 10 tiger barbs from, though, from them who quarantines and medicines for weeks, no tiger barbs. All tiger barbs are alive three months later. All platys, all neon tetras. When I buy from the other guy, 30% die. So that's, I was telling a story. Yeah, he got in 250 Ramanos tetras and he put them in. Uh, 40 minutes goes by. They are delivered from, uh, uh, from south of Europe long way to travel for fish and he just acclimated them to new water his water and a client comes in and say i'm looking for ramen tetras do you have any yeah i have a lot and they are really good quality and he say they look a little pale yeah that's because i just did a water change how many how many do you want i want 30. okay i get to 30. and then he packs them up again stress them and ships them with the client and they're gonna get a uh, fourth. Uh, so shipping a third time and uh, new water for the fourth time. So he does, really doesn't care. He only cares about money. He doesn't care about the animals. And that bothers me. I'm an animal lover. I'm a W. WWF subscriber. Supporter. This explains my tattoos more. So, that is the reason. I just wanted to explain that because it sounded weird that I said I can get twenty dollars from him. From him. He probably ten pay me fifteen ten now that I'm thinking about it. But then he sells it for hundred and fifty two hundred dollars the next day. Pick them apart, put some rock wool uh, around them, 
and say, oh, these are very rare, so $10 a piece. But you only need two or three. They're going to grow in time. <laughs> and I'm his regular client. I probably spent, I don't know, at least $15,000 in the last five years in his store. And still he does that to me. So. But I still need him. Like I told you. Because a new fish is discovered. 1997. And this is the second time we are able to get it. He can get it for me. If I give him time. So far he have gotten me everything. I didn't buy everything, but I asked for it, and he found it. So, he has a lot of good connections. Probably one of the best connections of all aquarium stores in the whole of Sweden, actually. That, I need. So, if he didn't have that, I would never shop again. So, if I'm buying Neon Tetras, Tiger Barbs, regular fish... Rainbows, the quality from the, the smaller guy is so much better. They are white, hollow looking at this size in the other store. I hope he doesn't follow my, because I'm totally roasting him. <laughs> and then my system is crashed down, but he doesn't follow me because he, he doesn't care. Um, but when I get them from the guy that actually gets them from a breeder that he knows personally and goes to visit in uh, South America each, or Asia, is it Asia? He has friends in Asia and South America. Each year he goes to both Asia and South America and visits their farm personally and helps them with ideas how to build it out and look and... and uh, when I get rainbows from him, they already flashed the, in the forehead, although they are fry. And they still only cost $8. $8 is a lot for a rainbow fish, but turquoise rainbow fish, because it's uh, common. But when it's that quality. So that is still something I really want. Like 40 turquoise rainbow fish. And a Mabu puffer. Wouldn't that look awesome? And that cold light that I like. Blue-white color. That I keep in my goldfish tank. My other day videos. If you go to most watched videos. Uh, that ramp was a, a marine light T5 ramp. So it com comes with... Two bulbs of uh, 20,000 Kelvin and two bulbs of 14,000 Kelvin. So it's marine light. But it looks really good with marine light against white fish and blue fish. And white gravel. It looks clear. It looks clean. It looks awesome. You asked me so many times about <laughs> that tank when I had those lights. Now, of course, I've changed them over and over again and I can't find the same brand. Unfortunately, so I can't get it back. But you asked me back then all the time. Uh, how do you get the water so clear? It was the lighting. The water was clear because I al always have huge filtrations. Two FX6 and one hanging back. So the water is going to be clear. But I mean, think about that. Actic light and don't use actic light if you don't have a lot of plants because I have the potos If I didn't have the potos and have blue lights marine lights on that tank uh, Algae actually loves Blue lights while normal uh, freshwater aquarium plants Doesn't like blue lights so algae becomes a big problem if you don't have a lot of Siamese algae eaters or potos up top. So just know that before. But white and red and black goldfish against white sand. 
and green, deep green Anubias looks amazing in marine lights. Try it sometime on a small tank. You won't change your mind. If you have T5s, try one. See if you like it. Put in a blue one, 2000 Kelvin, completely blue. Next to a completely white, like 10,000 Sylvania Aquastar or 14,000 uh, Arcadia. Something like that. Cold white against blue. Looks really cool. Okay, this video is getting long. Sorry guys, but I had to explain that. This is what I do. I need to... I'm gonna, it's gonna bother me for weeks after if I say something wrong and then it still bothers me a video I did one year ago when I say this is not giant ramshorn snails and then explain the difference between my snails that are giant ramshorn snails and normal ramshorn snails but I start out saying this is not giant ramshorn snails that's the only mistake I made in the video of one hour and it still bothers me so I'd rather, rather make them long and correct. But now we're going to continue because you know what I did? I worked from 9 in the morning to 12 in the night. And the day before, like you see in the early in this video, is the day before. I worked for 6 hours. So totally 18 hours, right? So I'm done with the platy tank with the cryptocurine and I'm done with the clown loaches tank with the 25 mystery fish so I haven't decided if I'm gonna wait for the quarantine of the mystery fish before I release it or should I release it separately the tanks or should I release everything in the end I don't know but I won't tell you you have to keep watching to know. Till the next bit, guys. And if you're still here, I appreciate you so much. Watch time is so important because YouTube hates long videos. And I love long videos. And long videos gives you a lot more teaching. Like this. Put in snails, crush coral, get rid of the gunk by having... Two pounds of ceramic filter media underneath and just have these fine filter to get rid of the gunk and every 12 hours change them out and now you can see the white gravel again instead of this thick of a gunk and you have to do that with giant ramstone snails because the gunk is going to make the water acidic. And if it makes the water acidic, they're not going to develop their shells because the pH is going down. It's going to be clay, it's going to be a swamp. And they don't want a swamp at all. So I have to do that. And I have never done it before. I've done it, of course, with water changes, but it's hard with gravel to not suck up gravel or small snails or shrimps. So this was a great method. Keep them up top, change them out. Keep them up top, change them out. So I'm going to fill up with new ones. And keep doing that till this is crystal clear. And goldfish also loves the soft roots of cryptocorine plants. So I'm not going to feed them for two days. They can eat vegetables now. Maybe I throw in some basil for them as well. Now I'm going to use that for cooking. But I was going away. I bought them and then I had to go away the day before. So I didn't want them to die. So I planted them with used aquarium filter floss around and it's holding the bottom in this and put water in here so it sucks from this fine filter mesh and this is three weeks later they still look good because I I give them six hours a day of this of course also can't survive in a dark room oh, let's keep it on them now 
still pretty early for the goldfish. It's only 8 o'clock in the morning. But continue with the video and now it's the good part. Now it's the final part because now it's showing off the result. I'm done with the 175 gallon and I can actually say I'm pretty proud. No, I'm really proud. I think it's my best scape ever. The, 100, the 175 gallon aquarium as it looks right now is my best aquarium scape ever in my opinion. And it's perfect because you know how clown loaches look a little bleached? They don't look yellow, they almost look white or beige. That's because you have white gravel. I realized that yesterday when they got black gravel, they got super black stripes, super orange, super red. So they look even better. Awesome. can't wait to show you guys so that's gonna be the next bit stay tuned and like I said if you're still here I want a code leave in the comment miss sunshine long videos hashtag hashtag long videos leave that in the comment section if you're still here at this moment because this video is gonna be an hour Hello again, we're not done yet, I'm just showing you in between, I think I will, I only use the round gravel now and put in those Giantia and decided on the biggest Mopane Driftwood and also thought about the flow for the Giantia, uh, ah, sorry. Uh, it won't get in the way there, it won't get in the way there. I see it's an intake over there, but it's also an outflow. If I turn it the, that way, it will always stay sideways. But I wanna, before I fill in with the rough, really nice looking, really dark, sharp pieces, that's gonna be the decorative up top. Um, I wanna fill up the water and drain it down again. Because I really want to do the scape really good and be happy with it for once. <laughs> Otherwise, I'm always going to change my mind after. And it's so much more work than to really think about it. That's what I've learned when I talk to real aquascapers. I'm just a jungle guy who can keep plants. Um, so, I'm going to fill it up. Drain it down. Fill it up to get clear water. And then continue on with more Mopani and see how I want it. And as a last step, put the beautiful sharp gravel up top. And probably cover everything. I even covered some plants. Because I don't want to see the white sand through. So this video is going to be four days for me. But one really good video for you, hopefully. See you soon, guys. In a couple of hours. Quick in between thing. I totally forgot to show you the scape when it was done. Because I had promised the guy that I would get the fish the day after. And I actually got a good night of sleep for once. So I slept for seven hours. And got to bed early. My plan was to wait until it gets dark. And turn all the other aquariums off. And then show you. So the next bit is showing what fish I'm going to have in and you're going to see the scape as well. <laughs> uh, but I guess that's even more fun. If you waited this long, you totally deserved it. And thank you if you're still here. So this is going to be my mystery fish. I put a clamp and a really tiny little tube and even clamped it a little bit so it goes even longer for the acclimation and the new 25 fish is 25 silver dollar silver dollars metushishan agentus i don't know what they call they call something like that in latin 
But I'm gonna drip acclimate them really slowly because I'm gonna be really careful. I just wanna show you how you would do it. I really like the skate map. But that's why it was so important to remove as much crypts as I can. And I'm gonna show you the crypt tank. That's the 75 gallon filled with only crypts. Because these guys are herbivores. So it could just be that all of this is food. But the scape is still gonna look good because then I'm gonna put in some rocks. Probably steal the zebra rocks from here and put them in and make the wall of Mopani around the rocks instead. If they choose to eat my cryptocurrency. But I sacrifice it because maybe if I have an order feeder and they get food five times a day, they rather eat the food than the plants. So now you understand why I had to take out the extremely... Uh, took me six or seven hours just to take out the crypto cream from this tank. Tank super tall, I had to make something, my stool wasn't tall enough, and they all was together, like... and thick, like uh, a golf course, and all together. So tangle them apart when I replant it uh, was a lot of work. But now I'm gonna start to drip acclimate these. See you in the next bit. So sorry fish lovers, totally forgot to show you when I dropped them in. But you see, they are very calm and go around the tank and the clown loaches, although they are so much bigger, they leave them alone. Of course I'm smart enough to feed before both to the clown loaches and now to the plecos but the acclimation went perfect in my opinion the camera makes it so light it's more like this view so this actic light I chose that on purpose because when they get silver and big that's gonna look amazing and clown loaches are gonna look amazing against black gravel because then they really get the red colors and the black colors out instead of looking beige in the yellow parts so sorry guys I missed it honest mistake now we're gonna wait two days for a final shoot and feeding them and when they really you know come together so four days into one this is day number four uh, planned of course weeks ago but day number four shooting but it's gonna be day number six that's gonna be the last time so the video is still not over please stay tuned and remember if you're still here so hashtag here we have with fish lovers long videos they are schooling and look happy I've been feeding them a lot, so I'm not sure they're gonna eat, but Sarah Flora, I hope they stay away from the plants, but like I told you in the another clip in this video, if they eat the plants, I put in rocks, zebra rocks from the 145 gallon instead and make it look good anyway but I can see that they have actually grown I had them for three days and they are already bigger so this is is it day number seven or six day number seven I got them on Tuesday today is Saturday so day number seven in the fish room working on the aquariums and unfortunately it's pretty late at night so all the clown loaches are hiding and I forgot to make the video so I fed them bloodworms so they're not gonna come out for some algae stuff I'm gonna try I can put something out see if my 15 clown loaches come out but I don't think so why would they come out for it? This is 
one of my staple foods. I told you so many times before, but my figure eight puffers, they love this and trim their beaks down with this because they attack it as soon as it comes in the tank and then they are pretty hard. So it's perfect for them. I love that food. So I'm happy with the scape, hiding the Fluel FX6 over there a little bit. Of course you're gonna see the Eheim up top is just towels drying. And that basket is something I put frozen food in and let it float around so it all doesn't get into the filters. And we have we can raise the yeah two epic six and one eheim classic monster biggest one best ever filter and i know it's a simple scape it's it's not a well thought out scape with a lot of dimensions and anything but i think it looks natural and I love wood in aquarium and I love Mopana driftwood because it changes colors, it has some light spots, some darker spots and silver dollars against my light that I used on my goldfish tank in the beginning when everybody was always asking me how clear? Why is your tank look so clear? That's because I use blue. I use, I combine a little bit of marine light in it. And that looks especially good against fish that are silver or black color. So they look peaceful. And of course a bunch of bristlenose blackos. You always need them for cleanup crew. So this is the result, the 175 gallon. I'm super happy with it. I turned off one T5 of the four. So it's three T5s, 54 watt. Uh, two 14,000 Kelvin, so cold white, a little bit blue. And one Sylvania Aquastar, 10,000 Kelvin. That's cold white with a little, little bit of violet. And then I have in the front the LED, 45 watt, um, with stronger LEDs, but it's they're like one LED and it's three watts a piece. And then nothing, and then one LED, and it goes like that to get a better shimmer effect. I don't know if you get the good shimmer effect now because the water is a little bit low. But uh, it looks, it's the exact same length of the aquarium. One meter and 40 centimeters. So, yeah, I'm really happy with this aquarium. I'm in love with it already. So there is no way that I can leave this behind. This has to go with me. Even if I can't survive the COVID-19, I have to move anyhow. And even if I can't build my dream tank for the money, I need to sell this apartment to get rid of my debts. So this tank is staying for sure because I need a big tank in my life. And I already feel much happier having five aquariums that I can really work with and have time to work with. Oh, way too much food. You see all the food? <laughs> Look. It's so easy to overfeed with these super small pellets. And look how they look against the blue and cold white light. And when they get older, the males are gonna get red tails, anal fins. I think it's gonna look pretty cool. 
and also when they get older the cloud loaches are gonna see that it's safe to, to go out and swim because they are much smaller than us and they swim outside so why not us but now I think they're actually asleep or something for, because I turned on the lights earlier today because I had a client here who bought some giant ramshorn snakes and then I had another client who bought some giant ramshorn snakes the Colombian ramshorn snake, super uh, rare one and then I had another one that bought one of my uh, awesome awesome chairs you know I told you in the live stream I need to sell the furniture and stuff so I turn on the lights on the aquariums early and sorry guys I'm not gonna show you the 75 gallon because that looks good but if the crypt melts down it's gonna look terrible and then I want to show it when they come back because if you move crypt from an aquarium that is uh, three plus feet tall to an aquarium that is not even two feet tall with stronger lights because it's two Fluval 2.0 in that one uh, they can melt down it's they, they don't just melt down when they get lower lights they melt down because they get different lights so you understand even if you have T8 and then put a castle on top of it they can melt down from that so if they melt down I'm gonna get algae problems and all kinds of problems so now they just and they grow so slow nothing has happened since I planted them and it's been it's been only been a couple of days I know but other plants you would have seen a little bit of of changes already you already seen a little bit of changes in these plants that I never took out but I covered with gravel that the leaves have taken themselves above the gravel again but that attack looks exactly like I did it so we'll see I turned the lighting down to six hours from eight hours so I won't get the algae problem but maybe I need to uh, buy some uh, Giriadensa water plague it's forbidden in a bunch of states in in, uh, in America because it can really take over because it grows so slow uh, slow, fast of course I'm tired, sorry it's late so this is my 175 gallon and how awesome will it look with 15 clown loaches 4 Siamese algae eaters 10 brisanose plecos 1 yellow with a black spot on the back that's why I put him here because it's gonna, it's gonna be a calico and 25 silver dollars and they are not the agentus like I told you in the video before, they are the Hypsachus and something like that. Everybody, all of them called Metisim and then something else. And these are not the Agentus, they are called the Hypsachen or something like that. So it, they are a little bit more rare than the Agentus. So I hope you like Escape. I love it. And thank you so much if you watched this video because this video is probably one hour and 15 minutes at least so it's gonna take a lot of editing a lot of rendering a, ra a lot of tag writing and a lot of uploading time with my old computer which my <laughs> with my Wi-Fi so hopefully I can get it out to you tomorrow night which will be Sunday because it's Saturday today but if I can't I don't think I will I want to release it on a Monday so 
then I will release it Wednesday or Thursday. We'll see. I do my best, but I'm super tired now. I almost fall asleep in the chair and then rem and then remind myself, oh, don't go to sleep. Go, uh, because I, I, I slept one hour <laughs> last night uh, again. So now I'm just rambling. I'm going to get it out as soon as possible. If you're still here, write in the comment section Hashtag no melting crypts. Then I know that you watched the whole thing. Hashtag no melting crypts. I want to see if you really watch my videos. You asked me to do ma to make long videos, but all you want to watch is those clickbait. How, ma how many fish can you put in a five gallon? Which kind of which are the best fish for the 20 gallon? Eight minute videos. Me, myself, I wanna sit down, relax and have a good night and think about nature. So, good night fish lovers. Thank you so much for watching again. Big kiss and hugs from the Crazy Aquarium guy. Mwah!